All right, guys, welcome back to Castaway TV. The day has come for the build to actually start. We did the installation last week. This week, it comes to the build. So here, I'll kind of run you through the build real quick. Okay, on this left side here, the driver's side, we're gonna have a futon style bed. So I can sit, hang out if it's raining. When it slides down, the weight's gonna be carried off of a shelving system I'm gonna build, continuing from here all the way down to the bottom of the bed. Um, underneath the futon is gonna be a full slide out drawer that I'm gonna have all my cooking and any kind of gear that I wanna be able to access from inside this truck. Now, I'm not entirely sure if the futon style bed is really gonna be functional, but I really want somewhere I can sit, somewhere I can sleep, and the futon has always been the best option for that. So, to start this build off, we're gonna focus on building the bottom drawer and deck for the futon, and then the shelving system continuing over from that toolbox. So, let's get going. The build is coming together here. We have got the drawer in the bed frame. Works good. I'm probably gonna put something on the bottom to help it slide better. And then, this here, I gotta take out and cut in the actual hole for a shelf in there, which will have a false bottom I'll remove so I can store extra stuff I don't usually use, but to have it just in case. And now it's time for the biggest portion of this, the actual bed itself. So we're gonna find out if my idea actually works. All right guys, the build is basically done. There's some finishing touches, but for the most part, this is what we're working with. And I kind of didn't explain in detail what was going on. So we have three quarter inch plywood. That's what I use for everything here. Simplicity was the name of the game. I just wanted to build this simple and efficient, uh, maximize storage out of this truck cap at the same time as get as much comfort as possible. Uh, I see a lot of people can do the two slide out drawers, but that limits you from being able to have a place to sit. And then I've seen people do a similar thing, but just have this piece of wood sit on top of here when they need it. But I really wanna have like a backrest. If I'm chilling, it's raining outside, I wanna be as relaxed as possible in such a small space. And this is how I thought I could maximize it. The bed frame was simple. As you can see, it's just two by fours going over the wheel well, and then laterals across onto this sheet of plywood that has two by fours vertically across it to bear the weight. Another added benefit of having this futon is that the bed's not actually fastened down. So at any time, I can actually access the entire drawer from the box of the truck and don't have to get out, hop out of the truck, middle of the rain, and slide the entire drawer out. So definitely an added bonus. Flipping the bed out is as simple as it can get. We end up with a little gap here, just the way the numbers worked out but that's simply filled with another piece of plywood to fill the void. So I ended up using the mattress from my rooftop tent that I had started out with last year. That kind of brought me into all of this. I ended up with that other camper. It's been a journey, but that mattress ends up working perfectly for putting into this back of this bed. I also ended up cutting out the drawer opening here, 
which has false bottom. So I have storage all underneath there. It'll mainly be used for items I don't use all the time. But the whole point of these things is to get as much use out of the space that you have. The other big thing about this build in particular is still having this part of the cap. But keeping this side gives me like a garage almost where I can store axes and any of those items I don't need in the interior space of my camper build. Also, for the bottom of this drawer, I ended up putting the truck's decking. I screwed it right to the bottom. That's why I wanted this box liner in was so that the plastic on plastic would make this slide. And even once I add some weight, it should slide pretty smooth. But yeah guys, for the most part, this is the finished build. Uh, I have a few things I might do, like a little fold down table, so I can work on and cook when I'm inside. Uh, I have to add some turnbuckles in here. I have them already, just haven't installed them to fasten it down so it's not sliding all over the back. But other than that, I'm ready to go camping. So. Hopefully the weather starts cooperating. There's a lot of rain in the forecast, but I'm ready to get out there. It might even have to on a rainy day. So thank you guys for watching. If you want any more details on this build, be sure to just leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. And uh, it's time to hit the road. So until next time, guys, just keep going one day at a time.